So today, we're gonna be using the number one deck in the world right now and last season. This number one deck in the world is the Jaguar, Huntress, Assassin, and Warlord. How far in the challenge can we go? My name is Toon Mike, and let's see if this number one deck in the world works. To show you guys that I'm not lying, let me go to the local, uh, to the leaderboards. Noyan from Q8 has this deck, and he's currently number one, number one in the world right now. And if we look at the previous season, this person got 24,000 trophies. Now I do believe there's some boosting going on, but I'm not gonna go into details about that. And of course, we're gonna, I'm gonna advertise the Clan Smashing Tunes. We got 19 more spots left for you guys to join. So I really, really hope to see you guys there. It's a lot of fun. We just have a blast. So I really, really hope you guys do uh, consider joining the clan. So without further ado, let's just jump into the Majestic Challenge and let's see how far we can get with the number one deck in the world. Oh yeah, I still forgot that the three of those troops actually has the um the cute little Christmas uh. Christmas clothes that they're wearing right now. So my Jaguar goes first and I can deal multiple damage or double damage to his Rocketeer. However, that's a lot of damage to my Jaguar and the Warlord. The Huntress gets the buff. Unfortunately, it is not her turn. Can we hit the Wraith too? I want to hit the Wraith. Uh, well, I'm going to be able to hit the Treant but not the Rocketeer. Oh, double hit the Wraith. Triple hit the Wraith. Never mind, I will be taking that. Triple hitting the Wraith, that was big. So the Rocketeer is only doing 65 damage, which I'm totally okay with. Now, here, if he doesn't move the Assassin and the Huntress, I'm definitely gonna... Yep, he just killed off my uh, the Jaguar, but that's totally fine because that now we can use the Assassin to just deal damage. Or, well, how much damage is he doing? 174... 179. Wow, the difference is literally a smidge. But we just do this, and maybe even the Huntress can attack the, um, the Wraith. Oh, wow. Oh, another hit on the Paladin. Let's go. Okay, you know, that was very big. That was very big. We just did so much damage to three of those troops. It's just insane. So he's gonna, it seems like he's gonna attack the Assassin plus heal up the Treant. Not, don't tell me that the Assassin is dead. All right. The Assassin is not dead just yet. So let's hit the tree and towards the Warlord and maybe the Assassin can take out the Wraith? Yeah, they both died. Alright. They both died. Alright, so now let's just focus on the Paladin so that way the Rocketeer cannot do much damage. However, he is gonna buff the Rocketeer once more. Twice. Oh my gosh, he got that he got that buff twice. The Assassin gets the buff. Unfortunately, it is not his turn. How much health does he have? 45. I might miss a I might miss a paladin here, so I'm just gonna just do this and hope for the best. There you go. So we did get a double hit on both of them. So it is now just the rocketeer's turn. The rocketeer is gonna do 260 damage if I if I'm doing the math correctly. So ooh, he is going for the huntress. Oh no, he is taking out the warlord. You know what? That's probably a smarter play. You don't want my troops to get buffed, so I. I understand what you're what you're going for. All right, so mm, so the huntress gets an attack buff, but I do not have uh, I do not have a direct a direct attack. I'm gonna have to do this, and hopefully we can hit the rocketeer. Yep, there you go. We got a hit off a hundred a hundred damage. Say the rocketeer is very tanky, so I gotta be careful here. The assassin should should still be alive after this shit uh shot. All right, so let me, can we double hit the Rocketeer? Yes, no. No, we were not able to double hit the Rocketeer, but he, oh, he surrendered, understood. All right, so number one deck in the world, not too shabby if I do say so myself. Let's just hop into another one and let's see how far we can go. Okay, so this person has the direct damage deck with the Sentinel. My Jaguar goes first. Um, we can do a lot of damage to his farmer, that's for sure. But let's also hit the Druid. There you go. 98 damage to the farmer. Can't complain about that. 
<clears throat> the farmer goes next. He may just hit the sentinel. At least I would do that, hit the sentinel. And just go crazy with it. Yeah, that was, oh my gosh, the huntress took so much damage, dude. The poor huntress. Um, the huntress does have an attack buff, so instead of using the assassin, I'm just gonna do this and hit both the farmer and the druid. There you go. Ooh -wee, the druid almost died, that's good. Um, he may kill off the Huntress right here. If he if he does this correctly, he can take out my Huntress. How much health does a Huntress have? Well, he will need the full four hits on it. If he's going for it. He's going for the Assassin. And the Jaguar and the Warlord. You know what? That's okay too. Not, not a bad attack. The Huntress still saves, still saves a lot. Just barely. So let's see if we can hit the Sentinel Torso Fire. Probably not because I'm also trying to make the Jaguar hit the Druid. Yeah, we were actually able to do that. So there we go. So we took out the Druid. So no more, you know, direct damage to the highest health unit, which is great. Uh, what is he going to do here? He may just take out the Huntress. Huntress is, is very dangerous. Like, believe it or not, she is very, very dangerous. If you don't take care of her, like, early... You're gonna have some problems, and nicely done there. Nicely done uh, with the damage that he just did. The jag. Oh, we'll definitely take out the um the farmer here. Oh yeah, that's actually instant death right there. I should have just went for the um the sentinel as well. I didn't think about it. Oh well. So the sentinel goes next, and he cannot do much. He can't do much. He can probably hit the warlord twice, and the assassin once, and the jaguar once. Yep, pretty much. So now we can use the Assassin to just deal damage to the Golem. There you go. Unfortunately, that was the only thing I could do. I was uh, I was hoping that the Assassin was going to double hit or just hit the Sentinel somehow. Or even push the Golem towards the, um, towards the fire and it did not happen. My Assassin just died, sadly. So let's see. The Jaguar goes, does go next. Let's see... So the Jaguar does get the attack buff. Actually, yeah. Let's take out the Sentinel. Because that way... How is he still alive? We just lost. We just lost. How did he survive that? We just lost. We just lost. No matter what happens, we just lost. I was supposed to double hit the Sentinel. How did I miss that double hit? Yeah, we just lost. There's no way we're gonna win this one now. I don't know how I don't know how I missed that double hit. I'm confused. I'm I'm just confused. We do get that double hit, but it was not enough to take out the the golem. Yep, yep. I should have won that one. I should I should have gotten that double hit. I'm I'm pissed. I should have gotten that double hit. Saying it right now, I should have gotten that double hit. Just saying. Just saying. I should have gotten that double hit. Unfortunately, we lost that match, but um, hopefully, hopefully we can we can win a couple of more. That's what I'm hoping for. So the huntress goes first, and we can actually push the assassin upwards towards the sorceress, actually, and maybe even hit the golem. There we go. Double hitting the sorceress. Let's go. Wow. If it wasn't for the uh, damage reduction, she would have died. If it wasn't for the damage reduction, the sorceress would have died. Wow. So let's see what the sorceress wants to do here. I mean, obviously the sorceress just wants to enchant everybody. And he was only able... Well, he got the Huntress, but it honestly does not matter. Because the Huntress can just re-enchant herself, so... You know what? That's totally fine. We'll just do this and maybe the troops... Uh, hey, the Warlord did get a hit off on the Golem. Um, not the Golem, the Giant. So, not too shabby. Unfortunately, the Warlord is enchanted with the Hex, so I will be receiving more damage, at least a Warlord, um, which is obviously not good, but um, we should still be okay. Assassin gets the buff. Um, we should probably go for the Blaze. The Blaze is extremely dangerous, so let's see if we can double hit the Blaze right here. There you go, plus even the Warlord hit. And the Assassin hits the Treant, and the Huntress hits the Giant. Alright, I did not expect all of that to happen, but it did. Can't complain, that was a very good play of my part. 
Uh, wow. Look at the Huntress. Took so much damage. If it wasn't for that reinforcement, the uh, the Huntress would have died. Wow. Um, we should definitely take out both the Blaze and the Treant, hopefully. Yes, we took both of them out. It is just the Giant. The Giant's only doing 45 base damage plus ability. We should definitely have this in the bag. Definitely have this in the bag, but we'll see. And oh yeah, we won this one. We just gotta hit the we just gotta hit the giant towards the um the jaguar and we'll win. And there you go. Good game, good game. GG. Alright. So we're we're off to a pretty good start. Two wins and one loss. Um I mean obviously it could have been much better, but he made a lucky play or I made a fail play missing the, the double hit on the sentinel, but we just gotta continue on, forget about that, and let's see who are we gonna... Ooh, the Huntress gets the attack buff. I guess we'll just double hit the wizard, hopefully it'll touch the dragon's hand, and just hit, go back and hit the jaguar, or the blaze. We missed it. Okay, we missed the blaze and the jaguar, but, um, guess I can't complain. We did, um, we did 198 damage to the wizard, and we had a damage reduction. Just think about that. Damage reduction. So his blaze goes next, so we're gonna try to focus on the blaze if we can. Uh, I don't think we, we can hit the blaze, it's just barely, but we, ju we just do that, we just do that. Oh, and also burning both the blaze and the jaguar, so I can't complain about that. Blaze get, uh, the warlord gets a buff. He may just burn everybody here, when that's not gonna be good. Ouch, yep, that, that really hurts, that hurts. So the wizard goes next. My Warlord gets a buff, which actually is very good. Let's see if we can hit the Wizard. I would like to hit the Wizard, please. We double hit the... Oh my gosh! We double hit the Wizard and the Jaguar just received the Warlord and the Assassin's attack. Oh, the Jaguar gets a buff. He may just kill off the, the Assassin here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame him. Thankfully, he missed the um, the Huntress and the Warlord with the Jaguar, thankfully. Um, the Huntress goes next, and she'll get a speed buff. Ooh, the Jaguar actually gets a buff. We can actually do this and push the Jaguar towards the Warlord. Oh my gosh, dude. Golly, li, 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 li. That was very awesome right there. He just need the Blaze just needs one hit. Unless, unless it's a warlord. Okay, yeah. Um, if the warlord does not get the buff, I just need to hit it towards the huntress and we'll win. Yep. So we just do it. We just gotta do this. Hit it towards the huntress and we'll win. There you go, cool beans. Yeah. Three wins. All right. Now we're do now we're going somewhere. Now we're definitely going somewhere. So let's just hop into another one. We got three wins. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. With one loss. When it should have been four wins, but I'm just gonna forget about it. Um, all right, his pyre goes first, which is great because his ability was was useless right there. He's gonna double hit the jaguar, it seems like. He did for 104 damage, not too shabby. So the warlord gets the buff. So let's see if we can just push the huntress towards the pirate and just hit the orc with the warlord here. We were able to do that, not too bad. Oh. Sorry about the notification, let me get rid of that. Uh, he is gonna double hit the Jaguar, he is focusing on the Jaguar, alright. The Assassin gets the buff, should I... No, no, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe and just try to double hit the Orc and then just go towards the Mice Bandit. Yep, there you go, that was very nice, very nice. Alright. He is focusing, he is focusing immensely on the Jaguar. I mean, sure, he did kill him off, but golly. Now he has to worry about three healthy troops, you know what I mean? He should have been spreading out the damage if he could have, you know? How much health does my Bandit have? 205, 143, yeah, we can definitely try to double hit the my Bandit. The my Bandit does need to die. Uh, this should do it. There you go, plus can we hit the orc? Yes, we hit the orc, let's go. Let's go, all right. So the pirate goes next, he did heal, oh sure, no problem. 
Thankfully, the Huntress does have a defense buff, so she can tank a little bit if he if he actually goes for the Huntress. He's going for the Warlord, all right. Ma you know what makes sense? Going for the Warlord. The Warlord is just <laughs> Warlord is just dangerous all around, man. 150 damage, not too bad. Ooh, not too shabby right there. Let's see if we can hit the Pirate towards the Assassin and somehow just take out the Orc right here. Bruh. Bruh. So it is, it is just the Frost Fox. The Frost Fox can only heal by hitting the Huntress, so we gotta keep that in mind. But uh, other than that, we should definitely win this one. It's not like the Huntress has a negative enchantment. The, the, the She has positive en en enchantment, so... Um, the Warlord has to go next, so hopefully it'll be in the line of sight for the Huntress here. It is not. However, we can use the Assassin here. We can definitely use the Assassin here to just deal, what, 179 damage? Woo! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe that just works so easily. Yes, please. GG, my man. Alright, we got four wins. I can't complain about that. For 100 gems, can't complain about that. It's very good to me, in my opinion. It is probably a loss, but for me, for me it's good. For me it's good. So okay, so he has Treant Wraith combo. Um, he is. It seems like he's just gonna hit the um the assassin four times. He and he will get the attack buff from the enchantress here. Okay, well thankfully it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So the assassin does get the buff. Should we just go after the enchantress and just try to take her out? Oh my gosh, how did the Enchanter survive? No way. No way he, the Enchanter survives all of that, man. I was trying to take her out so that way she stops enchanting troops, but um, I can't. Yeah, we just failed. So the Huntress does get the buff, and it is her turn. Mm. Can we just hit the... Uh, Paladin twice and then somehow hit it towards the um the Jaguar. No, but everybody did get hit with the Huntress's ability, which is 174, so I can't complain about that. Uh he will hit the Huntress plus heal up the Wraith, it seems like. Can't complain. Warlord does get the buff, and it is her turn. Um We should be able to hit the Paladin as well by doing this. Yeah, there we go. We took out the Paladin, so no heals for that guy. Um, he will either go for damage or try to enchant the Treant. If he enchants the Treant, then I'm gonna be in a little bit of a trouble. And I think that that's, that the Huntress is really standing in the goop. Yeah, the Huntress is standing in the goop. That's not good. <laughs> so the Assassin does go next. Uh, we cannot push the assass uh, the, hunt the Sorceress. The Huntress out of the way. Sorry, I keep mixing up the names. Let's see, if we should be able to hit the, the, um, the Treant towards the Jaguar. Yep, there you go. The Wraith did get a double hit. Let's see who is he going to go for. The ja Okay, so he's going to hit everybody. Ouch. Dude, what was that? That was a triple kill. Ali, holy Moses. How much health does he have? 70. Um, don't think we're going to win this one. We'll see. I mean, how much health does he have? I would need three hits. I would need three hits or two hits and a burn and a the goop damage. I can survive one hit, but not two. He is desperately trying. Don't you dare get the hit! Oh! I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. However, I would need to either hit him three times or hit him towards the goop. Wow! Oh my god! How? How did I win that? How did I win that? Wow. I I shouldn't have won that. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have won that. I feel bad for that person. I shouldn't have won that. Wow. I I just can't believe that happened. Wow. So this person has a direct damage deck with the, the giant instead of the Actually, I used I used this deck in one of my videos before. I remember now. I've used this deck in a video before. Okay. Ooh, the Jaguar does get the buff. Can we just one-shot the giant here? Maybe not. But we'll see. We just double hit the giant, poison the farmer. Let's go. The awesome star here. The giant is about to die, which is great. We don't need him. 
Uh, the Hunter says go next, and she will get the attack buff. So, super stoked about that. So, let's see. Alright, so we can, um, we can just hit both of these guys. The Jaguar also hits the, 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 the giant. That's awesome. So, he is gonna get the defense buff, or reinforcements. He may miss a Warlord here. He may. Yeah, he did miss a Warlord. So, not the greatest play, but everybody's focusing on the Jaguar up there. Um, let's see if we can just hit, uh, push the Huntress Source of Golem. Yep, and the Druid. Nice, nice hit, nice hit. Alright. So, that Jaguar, that Jaguar is dead. Everybody's just focused on the Jaguar right there. Uh, he will hit, oh, actually, he's gonna hit, oh, okay, so the Assassin did get the, um, the Hex, which is not good. And my Jaguar died, sadly. Alright, um, let's see, let's see what we can do here. The Huntress did get the buff, so I should probably just go for the Druid. Right here. Yep, she dead. She is dead, plus the Farmer is poisoned yet again. Alright, so she'll be taking, uh... Uh, continuous damage if she doesn't enchant herself. Ooh, he may actually go for the... Ooh, wow. He just triple hit somehow. So sadly, the assassin died, but we do get an attack buff here. Unfortunately, it wasn't towards the huntress. So let's just double hit the... Actually, we could just try to hit it towards the warlord. There you go. Ooh! My goodness, how did we manage to do that? I did not expect the hunters to actually hit the farmer. That was honestly, honestly awesome. So the both of them literally has one hit away from death. Does not matter who it is, even even the warlord. So all right, so we should be able to take both of them out right here by doing this. There you go, GG, my man. Okay, I can see why this deck is literally at the top. Um, it's it's very good, especially if you know how to use it. And if you play your cards correctly with the Assassin and the Jaguar. And also getting super lucky with the Warlord. Um, but yeah, we got six wins. Wow, we. Okie dokie. I go first, the Warlord. Ugh. So unfortunately, the Jaguar gets the buff. We could try to push the Jaguar towards the Assassin. Yep, there you go. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if the Assassin would have hit the Assassin? That would have been awesome. Alright, so the Assassin goes next. My Jaguar goes next. I can deal double damage to his Warlord. Okie doke, but then again, we should focus on his Sorceress, so that way he doesn't enchant my troops. But I don't think we're going to have a good, good line of sight here, you know? And of course, the Snowball! The Snowball blocks me, dude. Wow. So let's see if we can just take out that assassin by hitting it towards my assassin. I honestly hope we can. Yes, we were actually able to do that. Alright, so his assassin is dead. Alright. You know what? I'll take that. That snowball really messed me up there, so I had to think of something else to do. And I, I just pulled it off. I got lucky there. He's gonna double hit the assassin, plus the snowball damage. Alright. So, let's see who gets the buff here. The huntress gets the buff, so I'm definitely gonna use... Use the Huntress instead of the Assassin. Actually, well, already too late. But I was able to double hit both the Sorceress and the Warlord, so it wasn't a total loss. If the if the Sorceress doesn't get moved, he will enchant the Jaguar, and I think just the Jaguar. Oh, and the Huntress too. Oh, and now the Warlord, because he pushed the um Sorceress a little bit. Um... Honestly, let's just go for the Warlord. There's no need to go for the Sorceress. There's no need unless he enchants the Assassin, but the Assassin is almost dead, so... The Sorceress already did her job, so that, let's just focus on some um, the other cards. And of course, we do need to kill off the Sorceress because the Sorceress does a lot of damage, believe it or not. A support card that does an insane amount of damage, so... So, it is a Huntress's... Oh, sorry. I would like to push the Jaguar towards a Huntress, but I don't think we're gonna be able to do it. Let's see. Nope. We did hit the Sorceress. Well, at least we killed her. Alright, so it is four against one. 
All right, let's see what he's gonna do here. This is dangerous. At least my, okay, 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 okay. My Jaguar actually goes next. And that's good because the Jaguar can deal double damage to the troop that goes next and she is the last one. So there you go. So that was 169 damage. Now she has a defense buff, which is bad for me because now she can tank a bit. But if we can hit him towards the, never mind. I was about to say if we could have hit him towards the Jaguar, then we could have, you know, dealt some damage. But um, things happen. All right, so the Huntress does get the buff. Um, honestly, I wish the Warlord would have gotten the buff, but we'll just do this. Oh my gosh! All right, the Huntress. Wow, the Huntress can die in one shot. Oh, okay. Um, so the Snowball is messing me up. And the Huntress is now doing 109 damage, which is just enough to win. Bro, what? That was so close. That was so close. GG, dude. Wow, that was that was one of the closest games I ever had in a while. Then again, I think my last video was pretty close too. But um, look at this. Uh, guys, we got seven wins. Can't complain about that. We got seven wins, and now we're taking a little bit of a long, uh, long time to find the um, to find an opponent. Let's try one more time. Yes, no, okay, we did find an opponent. All right. So let's see who, what he has. Okay, they're, they're all damage dealers. That's for sure. They're all damage dealers. Did, wait, didn't we just face this person? I gotta look it up, but I think we faced that person. But I'm, I I might be mistaken. Wait, who has the attack of Oh, the Warlord. Alright, so we're just gonna push the Assassin upwards. Wow! Let's go! That Assassin did awesome stuff right there. Awesome stuff! Uh... Ooh, lots of splash! Not... Me no likey. Me no likey that. Oh, uh, but we gotta do this, though. Let's hit the Bomber and then the Goblin... Right here. Yes! Okie dokie. Alright, so the blaze does go next. The only advantage I've have I have against this person is that his troops are low health. That's the only advantage I have. Since they're since they're a, a damaging dealers, they have low health. Um alright. The warlord does get the buff, sadly. We just hit both of these guys, I guess. And hopefully Nope. That was a big mistake on my part. So he is just gonna focus on the um the warlord. He has to because the bomb is already targeting the assassin, so and he may even push the warlord towards the bomb, and he did. Well played. That was very well played. How much health does do I have? I can only tank two hits, man. Only two hits. And I think I need four hits on the on the blaze. Maybe. Go almost a third hit. A third hit wasn't yeah, wasn't gonna be enough. So he needs two hits to 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 win. Hopefully he misses. Who knows? He did miss. What? Bro, how did he miss? What happened? How did he miss? Wow. I shouldn't have won that either. Alright, there's there's like two games where I, I, I shouldn't have won. Like I, I shouldn't have won those games. I'm I'm just surprised. I'm literally legit surprised. Wow. We are at eight eight wins. We are getting uh, to the end game here. All right, let's see what this guy has. Blacksmith. All right. So we should definitely push the assassin upwards towards the warlord and the blaze. Hopefully, there you go. Almost hitting the mice bandit. That would have been big. So the warlord gets a buff, but thankfully it is not his turn. He will double hit the assassin. Oh my gosh, the assassin, the assassin just died! Bruh, no way the assassin just died. So we'll, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just take out your blaze. I'll just take out your blaze then, since we're playing that game. I'll play that game too, bruh. Bruh. I'll definitely take, uh, play that game too. So my spender gets a buff, it's not his turn though, thankfully. He is almost impossible for him to use the my spender for damage, so... We can definitely tank blacksmith damage, which is only 51 damage, so. 
It's gonna hit the Huntress Source of Steam. Nicely done. Huntress goes next. Uh, let's see here. He does get the she does get the defense buff, so I guess we'll just hit the warlord towards his warlord and then hit in hit, hit his um blacksmith. There you go. Wow, double hit, double hit somehow. Warlord gets the buff and this has turned. So lucky lucky person right there, lucky person. He may actually take out the jaguar here, which I do not want just yet at least. Come on. Ah, uh, that was just enough. And also he gave the warlord a reinforcement. Great. Uh, okay, so the Warlord does get the buff, alright. Can we hit the Mice Panda twice? I don't think we're going to be able to hit him twice. I hope so. Yep, we were actually able to hit him twice. Almost a Steam. It is a Mice Panda's turn. Um, he can only hit the Huntress, sadly. That Because that's going to be a lot of damage. The Huntress may even die. Yep, the Huntress died. Alright. Uh, we Now we do have a work cut out for us. Even though we have... Uh, healthy warlord that can deal 94 damage per turn um this is this is just dangerous we don't need to focus on the blacksmith anymore so let's see if we can just hit the warlord and then hit make the mice spend hit the steam we did not make the mice spend hit the steam okie doke the mice bandit got the buff thankfully it is not his turn he may be able to push the warlord downwards towards the mice bandit he is trying to he missed he did get the double hit but he he still missed all right, let's see if we can double hit the mice band and then take out his warlord. Yes, sir. It is now just a blacksmith against me, and I'm healthier than, and I can deal more damage to him. So, we should definitely have this in the bag. Uh, okay. Let's just double hit like so. There you go. All right. Woo-wee! Nine wins. Let's go. Yes, please. Let's go. Wow, this deck is working is working very, very well. I can see why this person is the number one in the world last season and right now. Like, this this deck is awesome. It's incredibly awesome. Uh, like I said, well, we're now taking a long time to find an opponent. Let's try one more time. And if not, then we're going to... We're, we're gonna edit the video here so that way I can find an opponent so you don't have to wait for me. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. And there you go, we found an opponent. Okay, three at Wraith. And three in Assassin combo. And of course, his Wraith always goes first and it's in line with my my troops. He is actually gonna get the buff here. Attacking. Whoa. Very, very well played. Very well played. The Jaguar does get the buff. But I could just do this and hit the assassin towards the vampire here. We missed the vampire, but we did hit the treant and burn the assassin. So I guess that wasn't a terrible play. I guess. Uh, my assassin is about to die, sadly. The assassin now gets the buff again. Or not again. Let's see if we can push the, jack uh, the vampire towards the assassin. Yes, there you go. Is that enough for death? Not what? Oh, 13 health the vampire has. Like, seriously. He is gonna try to heal up the vampire and taking out my assassin. And he did heal himself up. Nicely done. Uh I don't wanna waste my attack on just hitting the vampire though. I'm gonna take a risk here and go for other troops and just hope for the best. Wow, the Huntress did hit the vampires. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Alright. So his Wraith goes next. He may actually take out the um, the Warlord. And he will take out the Assassin. But he may take out the Warlord here. Let's see. He missed the, war uh, the double hit on the Warlord, thankfully. The Assassin did die, however. Okie doke. The Huntress gets the buff, but it's not her turn though, which is sad. Um, let's just do this. Hopefully we can double hit the um the Wraith. We did not double hit. Oh, there's the double hit. Okie doke. Alright, so we are getting to the end game here. This is becoming very dangerous. We need to take out his... Um, 
We should definitely take out his Wraith, because his Wraith can still use his ability, but not the Assassin. So, oh, nice hit, dude, nice hit. Oh, we can actually hit the Jaguar towards the Wraith, plus hit the, um, the Assassin. Oh my goodness, let's go, how did the Jaguar do that? Oh my goodness. That was clutch, that was lucky. That was very, very, very lucky. <laughs> let's hop into another one. I don't even know how the Jaguar did that. Um, and let's see if we if we can find an opponent now because we are in the end game here. Come on, come on, let's find an opponent. Come on, don't don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come on now. Come on. Oh my goodness. Let's try one more time. One more time. Yes. No. Yes. No. Just no. I'll be right back. We finally found an opponent that was like two minutes and we are facing the meta deck or one of the meta decks, all right? Um, all right, so we can, oh, we hit the giant, but I'm just gonna push the Huntress upwards towards the Sentinel. Almost hitting the Sorceress, that would've been nice, dude. At least we burned them for some little, for some little damage. He is gonna hit the Warlord towards the Sentinel to make the beams just go crazy, nicely done. Alright, so the Sentinel does go next, so what can we do here? Can we hit the Sentinel towards the Jaguar? I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Or we can just do this. Just take out the Golem altogether. Ooh, that Jaguar hitting the Sorceress was pretty big. However, the Jaguar will get enchanted, sadly. I mean, the Huntress will get enchanted too, but then she's just going to immediately remove her enchantment. But she will receive extra... No, she will not receive extra damage there. Alright. So now let's just deal damage to the Golem, plus the, sor uh, the Sorceress, Sentinel, oh gosh, everybody. We just dealt damage to everybody. Woo -wee. We just took out the Sorceress and the Golem, just please, just please. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we just gotta take out the, I mean, the Sentinel can be dangerous even alone sometimes. If it's together with a line of sight, you know? Uh, is the Jaguar dead? The Jaguar is still alive. I guess we will... I guess we just hit both of them. Honestly, I don't know what to do here. Oh, the Warlord did hit the Giant. Not too bad. Sentinel goes next. He will take out the Jaguar? I don't know why... We... Okay, so he's gonna hit both of them. Okay. You know what? Well played there. He just took out the, the Warlord. Very well played. I'll give you that. That was a very well played. Uh, but my, now my Jaguar goes next. He, I will take out the, that giant and hopefully we can attack the Sentinel as well. We were able to attack the Sentinel. There you go. How much health does the Sentinel have? 111? He's got to be careful who he goes for. Seems like he is going for the Huntress. All right. Yeah, he did take out the Huntress. No? Okay, okay. Um, I guess if we just push the Jaguar upwards, we should be able to take out the Sentinel, right? Yep, we were. Okie dokie. There you go, guys. Our 11th win. Are we gonna get 12 wins? I am stoked. I honestly can hope. I honestly can hope for that. Please, please, please let me get 12 wins. We're just one win away to get the max rewards, please. And of course, we're taking a long time to find an opponent. Let's try one more time. And let's see if we can find an opponent here. Nah. I'll be right back, guys. Ooh, that was very fast. We actually found an opponent very fast. Okay, guys, this is it. This is my last, hopefully my last game. Oh, we can definitely double hit the, um, the blaze here. Bro, we just took out the blaze. Oh, what? We just took out the blaze. Yes, siri. So the warlord did get the buff. So luck, lucky, lucky guy that he got the warlord buffed. But oh my goodness, I got super lucky taking out that blaze and that one. Oh my gosh, is the assassin dead? Bro, we are just killing it here, man. We are just killing it. Oh my gosh! Bro, this is a massacre! What is happening here? I'm just gonna give him the happy night face or the lovely night face. 
Uh, I don't know what just happened. Guys, I don't know what happened here. Um, yeah, I, uh, we just won this, right? We just gotta do this. What I expected to be a difficult match, it was a massacre. Guys, like, that... <laughs> I'm surprised I still took out that blaze in one hit. Oh, guys, that's it! I mean, this person can definitely come back, for sure. Especially right now, since she has that defense buff, I won't be able to deal a lot of damage to her. But how much health does she have? Oh, never mind. I just got the attack buff here, and... GG. Bruh, what happened there? And we got an epic win, too. Oh my gosh. Guys, we got 12 wins! Oh my goodness gracious! Let's go! 11,000 gold with 1,400 cards. Can we get some Nagas, please? I would like some Nagas to get close to um, maxing... Well, not maxing her up. But to get her to level 22. Nope. Okay, I'll take the Frost Fox. You know what? No, not to start requesting fo uh, Frost Fox because now he is closer to getting to level 22 than the Naga. But guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this 12 wins video, guys. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Guys, I'm just surprised. Oh, speaking of requesting cards, now I'm gonna request... Actually, the Naga is actually still closer to level 22, never mind, so I'm just gonna request her. But guys, uh, I... I don't know what to say. We just dominated the last game. We just... We just went on an insane win streak. We just won. 1,400 cards, 11,000 gold. I'm, I'm hope you guys did enjoy that. Also, um, um, Smashing Tunes. Um, if you guys want to join, we still have spots uh, left over. We have 19 more spots, so if you guys want to join, by all means, just come down. And we'll just have fun, guys. And also, you can play with me, play with the other people and whatnot. I hope to see you guys there. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.